I was recently shopping for food, just like any regular day. I picked up some staples such as bread and milk, some fruits, vegetables, beef, chicken and fish. But something wasn't quite the same. Summer, record high gas prices are bad news both for borrowers and families. The biggest jump in consumer prices in two decades. The price of your groceries has gone up with inflation at a 40 year high. Okay, so you've seen the news. The global financial system is on edge. Rising energy prices, the Russia-Ukraine war, climate change, lockdowns, and the breakdown and collapse of the global supply chain. All these events have contributed towards it's a global problem and we are all involved. The current economic climate is tough and high food prices will likely continue for quite some time. The change in lifestyle might make it difficult for you. You may need to cut back on dining out and forget those fancy shoes. The good news is that there are certain things that you can do to help keep your grocery bill low, all without sacrificing taste or nutrition. Okay, let's go shopping. You're looking for variety, nutrition and value. So go ahead with lots of colorful vegetables. When buying fresh produce, think about a rainbow. The more colors, the better. Different colors offer different nutrients that can help your body stay healthier. Processed food is not the answer. Think the opposite of a rainbow. If you see colorful boxes, run the other way they do not have your best interest at heart. Ready-made meals usually contain saturated fats, high levels of salt, and very little nutrition. Some may also lack hygiene, which can be harmful to your health over time. They can contain preservatives and also kill the good bacteria in your body. So remember, if you want a healthy body, the best way to prepare food is from scratch. Why not grow your own herbs and vegetables to have an endless supply? You can even grow them on a balcony. Nature is so amazing that one seed can grow so many tomatoes. If you buy hydroponic lettuces, keep the roots and plant them in your garden. You'll get another whole leafy green lettuce for free. It works. Not all harvested food grows perfectly. That's nature. Yet everyone is guilty, at least once in their lives, of searching for blemish-free perfection. Some of these fruits or vegetables aren't too pretty, but that's precisely the produce you should be buying. Imperfect food is considerably cheaper. It's the stress of those blemishes that produce more nutrients to protect themselves. It's a win-win, cheaper and better for you. Now, if you want extra help in learning gardening skills, I recommend Skillshare, the sponsors of this video. I've picked up so many tips from watching this indoor gardening class called Grow House Plants, Veggies and Herbs by Ekta Chaudhary. Skillshare is a huge online community where you can watch and learn thousands of inspiring classes. With over 30,000 classes, there's sure to be some suitable options for you. So why not learn a new skill like gardening, cooking, budgeting, fine arts, or even photography? I recently watched a video called Storytelling 101. This helped me brush up on my storytelling skills for my future videos. Now, the first thousand of my viewers to sign up through my link in the description will get one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Okay so let's get creative and save some more. When buying chicken don't buy pre-card or packaged chicken pieces. Get yourself a whole chicken and break it down yourself. You'll have the bonus of a free chicken carcass plus you can use it to make a simple stock. For a simple stock you simply boil the carcass in water for 30 minutes. It will cost you around 30 cents of gas. So how much does a package stock cost you? Have a look at the price and you'll see you just saved yourself a few dollars. You can also use it as a base for healthy chicken soup. The health benefits of chicken bones are undeniable. Don't you want to take this advantage? For the chicken breast, there's no need to serve one per person. A thinly sliced chicken breast can be stir-fried into a two-person meal. The best way to bulk up your meal is with cheaper vegetables. 
you'll be surprised just how much chicken you actually have in there. You could make three meals out of it and still stay within your weekly budget. We all know that cans are practical, but they also cost so much more. Consider buying your legumes or pulses dried in packets. Buying packets instead of cans should cost you a lot less, around half the price. They're nutritional and so easy to cook. You can simply soak them overnight and boil them the next morning. They will be soft enough ready to eat, or you can freeze them in individual portions. Look how many chickpeas you get. Packet compared to a can. It's easy to get carried away when you're shopping for fresh produce. Next time your grocery list includes lettuce, don't buy any pre-packaged mixes. It's so easy to wash and make your own, plus you'll save on money. All you need to do is place them into a large bowl and run water over them until they are clean. It's that simple. A lot of pre-packaged salad mixes lack flavour due to the chemicals which they use for cleaning and that can also cause some loss in freshness. There's also the chance of bacteria growth, now you've seen that many times. So do yourself a favour and buy a good salad spinner. Wash and make your own salad mixes. You'll save money and have a tastier, safer salad mix. You can make your own unique and delicious salad combinations. Add in some carrots for extra nutrition. Store them by placing in a kitchen towel lined container. Cover, then refrigerate until you're ready to eat again. They should last around five days, no problem. There are so many other ways that you can save on food. Search for your nearest farmer's markets and buy seasonal food. Avoid wasting food. Are your bananas getting old? Freeze them ready for a smoothie or use them in a cake. Preserve seasonal produce. Make tomato sauce or why not preserve lemons? Turn that stale bread into French toast or breadcrumbs. Don't throw it out. Use more of the vegetables such as broccoli stalks or beetroot leaves into your salad. Why throw them out? They are tasty and healthy. Love cheese? Buy a larger block of cheese and grate your own. So much cheaper. Don't be brand loyal. Choose generic brands instead of name brands. You'll save a bucket. Generic brands are often just as good as name brands, but they cost less. Buy cheap cuts of meats and try slow cooking. I have many recipes you can try. You can also watch for sales and stock up on items when they are low on price. As you can see, you don't need to break the bank to eat well. Make smart shopping choices, cook and prepare your own meals, start a garden, you'll be happier, healthier and on budget.